Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. In this video, we will discuss the third problem of lead code by weekly contest 91. It's a medium level problem, uh, a good problem to solve to be very honest. Uh, so the problem name is most profitable path in a tree. So the problem statement says that there is an undirected tree with n nodes labeled from 0 to n minus 1 rooted at node 0. You are given a 2D integer array edges of length n minus 1 where edges of i equals to ai comma bi indicating that there is an edge between nodes ai and bi in the tree okay now at, a, at every node i there is a gate you are also given an array of even integers amount where amount of i represents the price needed to open the gate at node i if amount i is negative or the cash reward obtained on opening the gate at node i otherwise okay i will discuss that in detail okay forget about the just try to understand it okay and the game goes as follows initially alice is at node zero and bob is at uh, node bob okay now at every second what happens alice and bob each move to an adjacent node alice moves towards some leaf node while bob moves towards a node zero okay so that means alice moves in this direction bob moves in this direction so alice is moving from root to leaf and bob is moving from one of the uh, non-root node root node okay now for every node along their path alice and bob either spend money to open the gate at that node or accept the reward note that if the gate is already open no price will be required nor will there be any cash reward okay that means if alice or bob whoever reaches first at a particular gate will open that gate and whatever cost is incurred or whatever reward is given that guy will take it the other uh, will not be bothered about that particular gate or the, for that particular node okay if alice and bob reach the node simultaneously they share the price reward for opening the gate there in other words if the price to open the gate c is c to open a gate c then alice and bob both pay c by 2 okay similarly if the reward at a gate is c both of them receive c by 2 okay so if alice reaches a leaf node she stops moving similarly if bob reaches new node 0 he stops moving note that these events are independent of each other so return the maximum net income alice can have if she travels towards the optimal leaf node okay big problem statement i can understand let's see what it it is actually trying to say okay so this is a tree just a second yeah this just yeah now we are so this is a tree okay this is a tree and in this tree this is the root node root zero is the root node the the uh, amount is minus two oh forget about that this is <clears throat> this is basically a tree okay and what it says is that here it says these are the edges given okay and bob equals to three so bob is placed here and alice is placed here okay now at every step so at t equals to zero t equals to zero just see bob is here alice is here at t equals to one what happens alice moves here bob moves here okay so what bob is trying to do is bob is trying to move in upward direction to the root node that is the only target bob has so at t equals to zero bob is here at t equals to t one bob is here and at t equals to two bob is here right simple however what alice is trying to do is alice is trying to move from node zero to one of the leaf nodes this is one leaf node this is one sorry and this is one leaf node okay alice is trying to move to one leaf node such that the sum the sum of the nodes okay the sum of the uh the sum of the nodes that alice visits is maximum simple forget about the k8 and all okay is maximum now so there are certain conditions for it suppose in our tree this is my tree this is my tree okay so if a bob starts from here so at t equals to zero bob is here alice is here okay at t equals to so what happens alice will uh, take the amount that is present here or will spend the amount okay amount will not become zero for for bob the amount will become zero here okay here but for alice it will not become zero why because bob is here so alice will consume whatever is present at this node by the time bob reaches here nothing will be left because at time t equals to zero alice is here 
Bob is here, right? So uh, Alice will consume it, and similarly Bob will consume the value present here. Okay, at time t equals to one, Alice comes here and Bob comes here. So now what will happen? The value that is present here, either negative or positive, Bob will consume here. The the value present here, so it will become zero. Why it will become zero? Because actually, what what we are uh, trying to do is, since uh, Bob reaches here, so so Bob re Bob opens the gate according to the problem statement. So there will be no cost for Alice to open that gate. So in short, we can say the value here becomes zero because we want to calculate the value for Alice, the maximum value that Alice can obtain, right? So Bob makes it zero, right? And Bob can consume it. Okay, now at time t equals to three, what happens? Bob reaches here, Alice reaches here. Alice can go here as well, but I'm just taking one of the cases. So now what will happen? For Alice, the value present here is zero, and the value present is zero. Similarly for Bob, the value present here is zero, and value present here is zero because these two were consumed by Alice, these two were consumed by Bob. Let's take a tricky case. Suppose, yeah, at t equals to zero. Alice is here, Bob is here. Okay, so this value becomes zero. We are just making the value where Bob is present initially as zero. So at whichever node Bob reaches first, Bob reaches before Alice, that the value there will become zero because for that Alice is not at all bothered. Alice cannot take that value. At time t equals to one, Alice comes here, Bob comes here. Again, this also becomes zero. I make it zero. Then at time t equals to three, Alice comes here and Bob also comes here. So they both arrive here at the same instant at time t equals to zero. So whatever is present here, half of will be done. So what what I've done here, I've done amount equals to amount by two. Why I'm doing it? I'm making these zero as in this as half because if I do this, my problem will be reduced to find the maximum sum that you can obtain. When you traverse from root node to any of the leaf nodes, it will tra it will be transformed into a trivial problem. So that is the main motive why I am doing it, right? So these are a couple of examples. Um, so yeah, I think I have I have explained you. Okay, this is what the problem is saying. Okay, so the first thing that I'll be doing is um, making the values present here as zero. Okay, now there could be multiple ways to do it. Let me just explain you. Okay. Yeah, so I have a tree. Okay, I have this tree: zero, then one, then two, then three, then four. Okay, I have this tree. So I have certain values here. Right. So the first thing is, I want to. So Bob has only one path. Suppose Bob is present here. Bob has only one path since it's a tree. So there is only one path uh, to move to the root node. This is the only path, right? So what I'll do, I'll first do a DFS starting from here. Why? Because I want to find the parent of each node and distance of each, each node. Okay. So why I'm doing this? Because I'm moving in the opposite direction, right? So here the distance is zero. The distance is one. The distance is two for this and this, right? So when I do DFS from here, actually what happens, uh, I, I make that for zero, parent will be zero. For one, parent will be zero. For two, parent will be one. Three, parent will be one. Four, parent will be three. Right. So in the first DFS, I will populate the parent of each node and distance of each node. What do I mean by distance? By distance, I mean that what is the distance of that particular node from root node? So. The, the, the distance of root node from this node is zero for this it is one and so on right i do this right this is the first step that i do now what is the second step that i do so once i have done this what i'll do bob is moving from in this direction right so let's see which node should i update and make the amount as zero as i explained you in the first part because wherever bob reaches first alice is not concerned for that node right so let's make it zero. So what I do, I do something like this. Since now I know the parent of each node. So I just run a loop that while my current node is not equal to zero, right? Current will become zero when I reach the root node. What I do, I check that if the distance of my current node, okay, is greater than the current value or current distance. 
so initially bob starts from a particular node okay and the distance of bob is assumed to be zero right because if bob is here so the distance of bob for this node is zero for this one this is two this is three right so that is why if the distance of the current node is greater than the current distance right for bob so what i do this means that bob for for the current node bob reaches first bob reaches first this basically means that for a particular node what i have done for every node i have calculated the distance from root node suppose the distance of this node from root is x and suppose bob is somewhere here somewhere here reaches like this so the distance of this node for from bob's node is 0 this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 so what i am doing i am checking what is what is the distance of the current node from root if that is greater than the current distance from bob's node that means bob reaches first at that particular point of time so just do amount of current equals to 0 because alice is not not concerned about this one what is the other case if both the distances are equal if distance of current equals equals current distance that means if bob and alice reaches the distance of a particular node from node from root node is same as the distance from the bob's node so do amount of current divided by equals to 2 simple stuff now for which node do i need to check i need to now current is updated to parent of current that is why i calculated the parent of each node also the current distance will be incremented simple stuff right so this is what i do so after this step the core logic will be done i calculated the parent and i have updated the amounts at each node now my problem has reduced to find the maximum sum that you can obtain when you start moving from root node to any one of the leaf nodes okay now the problem has reduced to that so now i do a trivial dfs simple stuff uh, let me directly show you the code because why to write the code again right so um, this is the trivial dfs that i have done just see here so what i have done i have taken a set right so just see uh, let's let's concentrate on, on this line okay dfs from 0th node and the amount array okay i'll explain you this as well actually i've explained you but i'll do that once again so you have a set add the current node that you have passed into the set take a global variable there could be other ways of doing it i just do it, did it in this way okay take a global variable add the current amount in your answer not this traverse equals to zero this is the tricky thing that i do i did again there could be multiple ways of doing it so for a leaf node if this is my tree okay if this is my tree so what happens when you reach at this node actually all the other nodes have already been visited right so when you whenever you reach a leaf node actually you cannot traverse any other node though you will have connections like from this node you can move to this node but this is already added in the set so whenever you reach a leaf node in short already the neighbor nodes for a leaf node is visited so you will not be visiting any other node so th that is why to detect a leaf node i have done this that how many nodes is the current node traversing so uh, this is this i'll show you um, i have ma made an adjacency list so i get the neighbors of the current node i check if the the current neighbor is already visited then just continue skip it else i increment my variable and call the dfs okay so if this is a non-zero value at end that means it is not a leaf node it is it is not a leaf node okay so finally what i've done once i do it for all the neighbors if traverse equals to zero that means it was a leaf node right so my max answer equals to math dot max of answer comma max answer max answer is initialized by int min okay and finally this is sort of a backtracking right for the current node i added the amount here so i need to subtract it here why let's see that why so suppose this is your tree right here you added the amount here you added the amount you moved here so you added the amount right now you have traversed this path you also want to traverse this path so this sum is not relevant so when you move back to this node actually the amount for this node that you added you need to subtract it so here you added and here you subtract right that's that's the stuff finally you get your answer and you return it right so this is the logic let me just show you the whole code so this is my let me just do one thing so it will become more clear 
I think so. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just remove certain things. So probably it will become clear. Just a second. Yeah, I think it's much cleaner now. Awesome. Now it seems to be much cleaner. Great. So my code starts from here. Construct tree. I have edges. How do I construct a tree? Let's go to this function. Simple. Uh, so it is an adjacency list. This is the node and these are the neighbors. So I do that stuff. I, I see what are the nodes. I put that into the adjacency list. I update my tree. Simple. Right. Now what do you do? You, you construct two arrays, parent and distance. Initialize it by minus one. Call DFS to find parent. Right. What does this function do? So this function is done. Let's move to this function. DFS to find parent. What it does? Simple recursive call. Nothing fancy. You pass the current node. You pass the current parent. You call, pass the current distance. Because these are the three things that we need. So the distance of current node will be the distance that you have passed. The parent of the current node is the parent that you have passed. Now check for the neighbors. If, if neighbor equals to parent, this will be the edge case. You just continue else. The core logic is DFS to find parent. Pass the current neighbor. Now the current node will become the parent of the neighbor and the distance will be incremented current distance plus one right simple stuff this is the function uh, that does the main logic so this and this is done right this i've already explained let's see what what would happen after this i have my parent i have my distances so i start the current node is bob right current distance is zero whatever i explained you in that uh, written format right this is what i do while current is not equal to zero if the distance of the current node from root is greater than the current distance of this node from Bob, that means Bob reaches first. So for Alice, it becomes zero. Else, if these two reaches at the same time, amount becomes half. Half Bob will take, half Alice will take. If Alice takes it, okay. And current is now, since you are moving in the upward direction, so current is this. Now your current will become parent. You move on like this and distance is incremented. Finally, you call the DFS of zero, uh, which I showed you here. Simple stuff. And finally, we return our answer. So this was a very good problem to solve. I'll be very honest. A great problem to solve. I found it to be better than the fourth problem. So yeah, I, I hope you learned something new from this video. Do support it by giving up a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel. In case you have any queries, do mention that into the comments. I'll be more than happy to revert on each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.